Oh, fuck a dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half-gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst? Motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. <laughs> the Bartmoss. Data crash rabbit Bartmoss. Guy who trashed the first net? Well, it wasn't his uncle. Yeah, yeah, him. I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh-huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank powered. Be a shame just to leave it. Even if there is, it's bound to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Nah, I need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Well, well. An SGI Tech Elisla. It's the best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Hey, just thinking. Cat at the Afterlife goes by Nyx. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up, see what happens. Could end up pulling something from it.
Listen, from one net runner to another, you got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bardmoss era. Rach Bardmoss. D Bardmoss. Tell me you're fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. I heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? Pfft, who knows. But I was able to dig up a few classic Bartmoss relics. Here, let me show you. Hey, Nix, listen. Found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes? Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shits. Goddamn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Found it outside town. In a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man. Went looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Text coming apart. Humidity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near Divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter. Just... Ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Mm. Mm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dick attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bard Moss should have done better. <laughs> Dog shit, cat shit, rat shit! Ideas, V. Fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done, stick. Okay, what do we got here? Saw what we got. A brain broiler. You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say... You reach Bart Maul's deck? Lowly you? Guess I got a little lucky. Had luck coming out your ears, kid. Alright. 
Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Hmm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Shame, kinda. Well, I guess I could delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or, uh, you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man. Definitely go for a drink. Tough day? I don't like any other. So, what'll it be? Thanks, Clay. No problem. Just holler if you need anything.
Hey, watch. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? Pathetic. You barely hold the thing. I ain't a musician, but even I can tell that's sloppy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, a critic. Chill, Chumba. Ain't half bad. Guy's hurting. Got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. So, ready? Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse who's going to sign you there. But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you play some gigs. Sell those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town? Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. The jokes aside. You think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Know anything about any bootlegs in the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Canic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine Stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. 
Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, I'll put you now. I need a quick rundown of Samurai Trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy, a blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks, never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on, hang on. Now I remember. There was a fire. Ah, oh, poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpus. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. You want to force them to change. 
Well, you can't just blow him up like the tower. But music's the answer. Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word. Doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people, then. And the average Janes and Joes. Maybe they don't want to change. It's their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil. Might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on how. Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages. Or just drop by for a chat, anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. It's Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... Oh well. 
Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. Sucking suits. MCPD! Ah! 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 You still out of luck! Ugh. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. Uh, oh, fuck. <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, uh, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then, hold on. What do you want from me? Is it really that hard to figure out? I'll give you a hint. It starts with euro and ends with dollars. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Y you need a reward. Uh, is this enough? You know, it's not if you're asking. Don't make me finish with the badge you started. Okay, here, here, here. That, that, that's everything I have on me. Have a pleasant evening.
Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. Sure isn't no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice, and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot. Why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. Meditation of the Earth Element. Spirit of Nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. O oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. 
cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth, through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the earth, a butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, uh, hello? Nice vanishing trick. <laughs>